Hey everyone, I just wanted to uh, throw out another little video here. This is going to be a short guy, but we wanted to show you what we've come up with for fixing the tack signal issue on a common rail swap. So this is Project Snowball here. We're just finishing up some of the little tiny stuff. Um, and this happens to be um, one of the pieces that we recently made for it. And what we've done here is to start with the basics. We've used two studs and that goes up into the oil pan. So we torque them down with the rest of the oil pan bolts. And then we've got a piece of angle iron that we have, we've made so that it lines right up with that. We drilled that all out. And we also set the height because you don't want it to get chewed up by the tone ring. So what we've done here is we've set the height so that when we crank all this down, it should sit at the proper distance. Um, if you happen to get something where it doesn't, you can always shim. So we've welded a little 10 mil nut on the back here that's gonna help us hold that all steady in there. You can put some shims underneath there to get the distance correct. Now, we purposefully have used um, the factory tack sensor. You know, you could go fancy and get some kind of standalone something, but that's not the point of these swaps. So, we've used the factory tack sensor that is available at any auto parts store. It makes it easy if you're on the road, you can, you know, grab one and swap it out easily. And it makes wiring as pretty much as painless as can be. Now, if you notice, we have the pigtail, we have pointed over to where we're gonna mount the ECU. So you are on an 04 and a half, 05 and up, you're going to have to lengthen those wires a little bit because the factory position is over here and the extra distance was just too much on the black hole. So you've gotta cut those and put in, I think it's about four inches of extra wire there. Anyway, we just drilled this guy out so that it would just be a nice snug fit for our tack sensor there so that it fits snugly into the bracket. Um, and we measured this and we welded it once we got the right height, the right clearance that we wanted. Hope that helps out some for those of you that are trying to fab this bracket up to finish up your setups. Uh, if you have any questions, just hit them in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to you.